All right, it's springtime, and uh, a lot of these strawberries died over the winter, but looks like a lot are coming back. But this got too overgrown, even trimming out runners. So I'm gonna take these strawberries out of this four by eight foot bed and put them into some some different planters, and then use this for other vegetables. So just it'll be a little easier to get to the strawberries before the rabbits and birds do. And it's kind of a you kind of kind of dig under across the four foot span. So I'm hoping that will work better we can still enjoy the strawberries and use this better for other things. Okay here's what I'm gonna think of doing for these strawberries. These are called aggro towers and I got six of them. You can either stack them all together or maybe six in a row or I'm gonna, I'm gonna try three times two and you can see each of them it's a hard heavy duty plastic there's drainage holes in the bottom and then they sit offset in these holes uh, the, the the pot above rests on them so they alternate and they expose to the sun so then I'll just have to turn it every couple days but there's a big hole in the middle I'm gonna try a piece of one inch PVC pipe here's an example of three together a big piece of one inch PVC pipe to kind of help hold them together and then maybe put a bottom pot with rocks in it that I saw someone else do before and this should make it easier to get the runners and keep things off the ground and I hope keep the rabbits out too also some more stuff it's good to see I put a couple apple trees in in the fall um, aside from some rabbit chowing when the snow is deep, um, the tree, this is a gala apple tree, and it looks like we've got some new uh, leaf blossoms starting. And this over here is the honeycrisp tree, and this has some new ones starting too, so as long as they live, don't die, it's good. And back here, the, the raspberry bed, I see they were cut down, but uh, they're all growing up pretty well. So I hope we can enjoy some of those this year, uh, hopefully more than Japanese beetles. I'm going to try these old pots on the bottom, put a bunch of rocks in for weight, and then put a PVC pipe here in the middle, and then put those, put it right through the center of those strawberry pots to give it some, some bottom support. Okay, I got two of these ready now. Um, they're pretty heavy. I actually have about half of a five-gallon bucket of rocks worth in each, if you look down in there. There's rocks at the bottom. They're pretty heavy, but nothing, no plants in them, so hopefully all that dirt in there, it's potting mix, it won't be too heavy, but that'll give it a good base. Okay, I got the first six dug out of the big bed and transplanted in here, and then I water them right away after I got them all packed in, because it's kind of sunny out here, and I want to minimize the shock of getting transplanted so we'll try putting six at a time watering them and then doing the next level. It'll take a little while but that way hopefully they can all uh, survive and several of them are already getting close to having flowers soon so hopefully that will uh, this will be a good way to grow them from now on. All right now we got two layers on and they're both watered so I'm ready to put the top layer on the left side. Okay, here's the final product of each of them. We've got three on the left, and three on the right. And um, they're kind of close to the house, I know. I was trying to find a place to keep them sort of accessible but out of the way. And what I did is each side I labeled the front with A and the back with B. So I'm hoping every other day to rotate them around. And uh, so far the plants look like they're doing all right, but hopefully the, the transplant didn't thrash them too much. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. And uh, that might be more convenient. Now I still need to work on the bed, uh, getting out the rest of the strawberries, but there you go. Agro Towers times two strawberries.